So you are Sherlock Holmes' sister, right? So go ahead, kid. Solve this dumb case for me. Anyways, hello guys. Welcome back to Movie Buff. This is Tarun, and I have seen Anola Holmes, yeah, five minutes back, and I am reviewing it now. So let's get started. Did you know the Canon Dale Estate has taken issue with Anola Holmes, the new film from director Harry Bradbeer? for its portrayal of a Sherlock Holmes with emotion, as adapted by Jack Throne from the book series by Nancy Springer. We are meant to reveal in feelings both high and low from all the film's characters, and besides Sherlock is not the lead here, so maybe the Doyles can relax. Or maybe they should sue the production for casting Henry Cavill as the world's most famous detective. Anala Holmes is that kind of a movie, one that makes choices we are not meant to take too seriously. Owing to its swift opening, we meet Anola, learn much about her upbringing and current mission. Her mother has disappeared, and Anola takes it upon herself to find her. Despite Sherlock and brother Mycroft's presentations, as one would expect, the story from there involves clues and adventures in equal measure. We also meet Lord Wixieburg, a head rich boy who holds the key to the film's plot. It's all flairly straight ahead stuff, played with much earnest despite its underlying progressive feminist message. For young readers, the appeal here is equally obvious. Though the film version strikes me as a might less clever, for one, most of the mysteries seems far too easy to solve. For two, many of Anola's solutions involve violence to a surprising degree. That's perhaps part of an anachronistic fun to be had there, but it also gets too bit heavy. Though maybe I should lighten up, the truth is Anola Holmes achieves what it sets out to do. Brown is charming throughout the film's plot, moves fast enough to outrun its questions and doubts. Sure, at just hours 2 hours, it's too long by at least 15 minutes, but perhaps the target audience wants to stay in the world for as long as possible. The cast gave the best job. The screenplay was good, dialogues are well written. The pacing of the movie should have improved much, obviously the editing was also good. But my overall rating to this film is 3 out of 5. So that's it for the video. If you love it, drop a comment. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.